All right, so I'm at my daughter's house today, and she is going to unbox her first package of bees. So we've got our package of bees right here, and we're going to be putting them into this hive box. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull the cover off, and we're going to make some space by pulling out a few of the frames from the center. All right, and then because these bees have literally nothing to work with. We're going to get them some sugar syrup. And we're going to fill our handy dandy little frame feeder here with syrup so that they'll have something to eat. Because there is literally nothing in here. And these bees have just come from several states away. And they don't have anything to work with yet. So it's important that we give them some food that's up close for them to get to. And you can see these foundation frames, there's nothing there, there's just something for them to build on. It's kind of like if you were a homesteader and you showed up in your covered wagon with nothing but your tools, you got to make yourself a cabin, you got to grow yourself some food, and you got to survive. So that's why we put a little extra feed in for them. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our box of bees here, and we're going to give it a squirt. Squirt them. Give them, just give them a general, there you go. Because sticky bees are happy bees. It gives them something to do. They'll lick each other off and kind of calm down because they got some tastiness next to them. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pry up the lid and then you are going to get this and slide it that way and okay. then lift it out. Okay. She used to put that stuff in. You can put those in the ground. Okay, so we just pry this can. This is just a can of sugar water to keep them happy and give them some nutrition until they get to their new destination, which is here. Okay. Just take and slide that this way. And don't drop. Wait. Oh. Keep pushing. It's in my way. Well, that's okay. They'll move. I'm going to drop it down. It's not old stingers by me. Well, it's okay. Yeah, it's probably not going to move anything. Just keep going. I dropped one in last year and had to fish it out with my hand. It was a little unnerving for a first time experience. <gasps> there you go, just relax, be calm, and they will be calm also. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so. I take it this is the queen? That is the queen. We're gonna go ahead and give these bees a little shake, get them off of there. All right. See your little queen in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go give your mom a look so she can get that on video too. So sure get you see that? Mm -hmm. That's our happy little girl. All right, I'm gonna picture that too. Apparently, we're doing Snapchat at the same time. It's not focusing. Alright, I think I got it. It's good enough. Okay, we need one mellow. Okay, so it's really important that the queen has a chance to get acquainted with her little entourage here. And you can see why all the bees that have been hanging on here, they're already wanting to take care of this queen. So she's probably gonna be pretty well accepted. Go ahead and roll that up so it's smaller. Okay, there's just a little cork in the end here. We're gonna pull that cork out, maybe. Might have to get my knife out for this one. Ready? 
is push that marshmallow in there and that's going to swell up and fill the hole. Now this little marshmallow in the end, all these little worker bees, they're going to go, ooh, that's tasty, and they're going to eat the end of this out and let that queen loose. And it's going to take three to five days probably, and during that time they're going to establish the fact that yes, this is the queen, we're going to accept her monarchy, and this is going to be a great thing for us. So we're just going to take and we're going to put her inside the box and set her up so that she hangs between a couple of frames. There we go. Now we'll just take and move one other frame over there to make sure she stays in place and doesn't get away. Now, the next thing we got to do is put these bees in that box. So in order to do that, we're just going to take and we're give this box a little shake. Take the get the bees down in the bottom as best we can. I'm going to pull this out, and Alex, you're going to take this thing, turn it over, and shake it in that hole. Just tip it over and shake them in. Give it a good shake. You may need to shake it back and forth a little bit to get them out of there. That's it. Well, that's most of the bees that are out of there. So what we're going to do with this box now is we're going to take it, put it in front of the hive, set it down, with that lid kind of point up. Those bees that are in that box will come over here and join their buddies after a little bit. Meantime, we're just going to go ahead and put the frames back in. loud. I don't know if you can hear that, but it is noisy. Okay, the next thing is we want to put this inner cover on. And to do this, it's best if we can kind of make sure that we do this kind of a little bit of a twisting motion. And that way, if we have any bees on the outside, sometimes you can't help it when it'll get smushed, but in general, if you do that, most of them escape the squishing. So I put the top cover back on, and we are good for several days. Uh, we'll be back in, I don't know, five to seven days. Check to make sure that that queen has gotten out, and in about two weeks again, we'll check to make sure that she has started laying eggs. Roll that beautiful bee footage.